Okay, so now we're going to go through the study plans. So um, for the digital SAT, these are the study plans that I recommend for like three separate separate sort of situations. So you could be cramming. That's one situation that we'll talk about first. You could be um, having like a month or more to prepare, like about a month or a little bit more. Um, and then the last situation is if you have like a lot of time, like two plus months to prepare. So for um, the first plan, this is for if you're cramming. So you're going to want to note that everything is listed in terms of importance from top to bottom, like within different categories. Um, if uh, you want to do it like that, but I recommend like kind of doing everything um, as listed. So um, also make sure that you're checking your answers periodically whenever you're doing like, let's say you do a time practice test, then you want to make sure that after you grade that time practice test that you're doing the corrections because it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it kind of helps you get used to the format, but um, if you're doing a time practice test and you don't do any corrections, it's kind of like um, useless. So um, one week before the exam, if you're cramming, I would take a time practice test and then you can access these free tests through the official College Board website. They, um, If you just go there, they have a link for like how to access those and the Blue Book app and all of that. Um, and then complete the corrections and then do the whole exam setup one to five days before your exam. Um, again, this is for a cramming scenario. So Hopefully you already have set up like your device stuff, um, but like if you're cramming, if this is like a week or two before or less than a month before, um, you don't even have the option to like do the device lending program. So hopefully you're all good with that. That's why I didn't include anything about that. Um, so like do the setup with your hopefully approved device um, one to five days before your exam um, as specified on the College Board's website. Um, again, if you go to that free link that I talked about in the introduction video, um that was before this you kind of you have like direct links to a bunch of this stuff so three days before the exam you want to complete the review test that's at the end of this book um and complete those corrections and then study your math formulas each night for about five to ten minutes just to kind of like refresh your memory because like formulas are something that like are super easy and you just like plug things in so it like you don't want to forget the easy part um, if you have the capacity for more, then complete as many quizzes as possible in the corresponding corrections. Remember, like, the whole point of this book is I wrote it in a manner where, like, the quizzes and the review tests and the diagnostic tests are all, like, the stuff you would be most likely to see. So, like, you should definitely know how to do that stuff, but it's not going to be the only stuff you're going to see. So, like, if you're cramming, you're not going to be able to learn everything, but it'll help you, to, like, go over the stuff that you're most likely to see. And then here, if you have the ability to do more, this is the part where I mean like it's ordered in terms of importance like the top is the most important to so, like the bottom is the like least important um like I would start by doing the diagnostic test and completing those corrections then if you finish that and you have more time then do like the rest of the stuff you know um and the reason I say the three reviews are like and the math formula sheets are more important than the quizzes is because like the diagnostic test and the review test are kind of um and the practice tests obviously that you've already done are kind of going to give you a feel for the exam already um, so like that's kind of like the three review stuff is the arithmetic stuff using your calculator like the easy stuff that you can like quickly get under control if you don't already know how to use your calculator like you're making silly mistakes things like that that's why that's listed before the quizzes and stuff um, so yeah and then start completing the skills that you missed for the chapters um, that correspond to what you missed for the diagnostic a lot of these are like very similar it's just that you're doing like more um, in between depending on like which of the scenarios you pick so that was the cramming scenario this is like if you have about a month so um if you have about a month you're going to sign up for the device lending program at least 30 days in advance um and then you're going to that's on the college board website and then you're going to do the diagnostic complete those corrections complete the three reviews at the beginning of this book and then analyze your diagnostic and begin doing the relevant chapters um when you do the diagnostic like right after when you're grading it like part of the grading sheet like tells you how to analyze it so like when i say analyze your diagnostic don't worry it tells you exactly how to do that at the end of the diagnostic um and then we have the um like meanwhile you should be studying the math formula sheets about five to ten minutes each night try to do at least one quiz per week um you can do two per week if this is like about a month before because there's nine total practice like quizzes review quizzes 
spread out throughout the book throughout the book but um the whole point of the quizzes is that you're um like if you're cramming you can do them all at once because it's like you're cramming you don't have like a month to do them but the whole point is that ideally you have um one month or two months to do that um to do the quizzes and other stuff so that you can spread out your practice because that's what's going to get you the most the like the best results so don't try to do like all nine quizzes on day one because that's not going to help you as much as doing like one or two a week um up until the exam and then um do the review test complete those corrections about three days before the exam the reason i tell you to like keep the review test about three days before is because the, the review test the whole point is like it's a refresher it's a refresher of like these are the questions you're most likely going to come across like these types of questions so you should refresh your memory on that like a, a couple days before the exam um rather than like doing it all like day one of prep and then uh, you don't have any like reminders before the exam to kind of keep you fresh and then this kind of sample weekly sc uh, schedule is self-explanatory i mean i'm not going to go through it because it like it literally tells you verbatim what to do um and then um so that's like just like a sample of like what i would do after completing the diagnostic and the three reviews um and then we have one week before your exam take a time practice test kind of like the other one this is what i was saying like there's just more stuff in between but like the one week before your exam you're still taking a time practice test um on which you can find on the college board website you're doing corrections for that you're setting up your device with like the test setup thing that they tell you to do one to five days before which again you can find on the college board's website and then three days before the exam, you're doing your review test, completing those corrections, studying the math formulas each night for five to 10 minutes. And if you have the capacity to do more than complete quiz nine in the corresponding corrections, because remember I told you to do one to two quizzes a week. So like if there's nine quizzes and you have a month before the exam, then you're gonna have that leftover ninth quiz that would be helpful to do. Um, and then if you have two or um, two or more months, you're going to kind of do, it's very similar to the one month plan, just like, again, you just kind of like bulk it up a little bit um so you still want to sign up at least 30 days in advance if you need to borrow a device to the for the device lending program um still set up your stuff one to five days before your exam and then um do the diagnostic complete those corrections um complete the three reviews at the beginning of this book analyze your diagnostic test um and begin doing the relevant chapters in order just like it tells you um and then start doing for this one since you have two or more months i would do one quiz a week eight weeks prior to the exam um and then remember because you don't want to do them all at once that defeats the purpose and then um if you're aiming to get the best score possible i would do all the chapters in order instead of just the topics that you missed on the diagnostic but i know a lot of people don't have time to do all that so it gives you like that option and then do the review test and complete those about three days before the exam. So this is kind of like the summary of what you do up here. And then like this is a sample schedule, just like with the other one of what you could do. And then just remember like um, three days before your exam, you need to do the setup. You need to do the review test. You need to be studying your math formulas each night for five to 10 minutes, all that stuff. So pretty similar, just kind of like bulked up a bit. So that's the study plans. And then the next video will be the diagnostic.